I just, I've been playing with the same stick, to be honest, 15 years. I use a Bauer, a typical socket curve, and I vary between 102 flex and 95. I've changed my twig around a little bit. Uh, so my flex I go with, uh, now I'm, I'm rocking a 95 flex as opposed to a 102 that I was before. So for me, I like to use a little bit more of a whippier stick. So I use an 80 flex and then, honestly, I've been using my, the same curve for so long, I don't even know the <laughs> what number it is, but uh, I think it's like a Joe Sackett curve. Uh, my curve is kind of a custom curve uh, that I made based off uh, Marty St. Louis curve that I've tried a couple years back. Um, and uh, so it's a little variation of it. I use the CCM rib core and uh, you know, for me it's been 75 flex and I cut it a little bit, uh, do a little knob of top and have it, have it taped from, from heel to toe and just cut it on the air. Pretty much whatever's in the stick rack for me. I'm not, I'm not super picky. It's a uh, Bauer Hyper 2 light stick, curve is I believe P20, P28 or something. I have like a curve on it, big curve. It's like a short stick, my flex is about 87. My curve, I went with uh, a toe curve, kind of like Kucherov's curve. Uh, I got white tape on there now. Uh, the knob is, put the little String the tape up and wrap it around. Wrap around yeah. Change that a bit too this year. Uh, change it a little bit in the off season. Uh, good change. I'm excited about it. So I use a, I use a true stick. Uh, I use the, the newest one they got. Uh, so uh, usually my, my my most important preference is obviously the whole bottom of my stick has to be white. Flex 77 and I got extra grip and with the uh, teal colors uh, on that and just tape it like regularly, nothing crazy. I use CCM, um, I've switched it up a bunch though, so I'm not very picky, kind of, as long as it's a lefty, um, then I'm good to go. Well, now that you've heard all that, we can officially get into Twig Talk. Brody and Hannah are here to talk about our hockey sticks. And this is something that, you know, the players are very particular about. Like, they know exactly what they want to use. And I'm sure you were the same way as a player. Yeah, I mean, stick technology has obviously come a long way since the days of me back in junior. <laughs> Getting a wooden stick, it was a straight blade, and you took the blowtorch to it. Then you had to curve <laughs> it yourself. If you broke it, you didn't get to change it. So, obviously, stick technology now with all the different flexes, curves, how quick you can have a, you know, the release, the curve, the lie, everything you got there. You can even get your name well, on what's it. What's your pattern there? When you're, you're big go, time what? enough. You get your own curve. You get the Brazil curve. You're a big deal. Let's talk about flex because you heard the Sharks players talking about that a lot. Flex is defined as the pressure it takes to bend the stick one inch. So like 100 flex, 100 pounds of force moves the stick one inch. You didn't even know that. Did you have to look that up before you? I did here? not. You, you sure? did not know that. In what? fairness, you, the NHLer, did not know that. Me, the media guy, knew that. So it's all about feel for us. Why guys in the is NHL. flex important to a hockey player? Uh, you know, it's different for everybody. I mean, for me, when I played, I had a heavy one. There was a lot more cross checking early in my career. I didn't you wanted want a higher stick. value. Of I flex. didn't. I didn't want my stick to break. But now, like even. And now as I'm retired and playing with the kids, my kid uses a 40 flex. I like how with that flex, flex and that whippiness, it's how quick your shot you can get off yeah. sometimes. You don't want to be throwing the puck as a young kid. That's where I see myself now. But in the NHL, again, guys like how they play with the puck, how quick they want to snap it, are using more slap shots. One-timers. One-timers. Yeah. Well, here's a, a look at different flexes used by different hockey players. And the numbers here are, are, are going to blow your mind. Like Sidney Crosby is on a 100. Johnny Hockey at a 55 flex, Connor McDavid 85, Nate McKinnon 95, and Nico Sturm of the Sharks an 85 flex. So everybody's close, like in the ballpark. I think. I mean that one. That one probably surprised me a little bit. 100, 100, 100 over there, just like the 55 probably surprises me okay, a little so bit. Okay, so Brent Burns was at 120 though. He told yeah, me. Yeah, but you shook. Brent Burns is a strong hand. guy. I mean, he's a pretty strong guy. Here's the definition of that flex. I think Connor McDavid can show us best here. That's the flex they're talking about. So that looks to me like, I don't know, three, four inches right there. So you're looking at what? 
300 plus pounds of force probably is that is that stick that's is good, that's good math there thank right? you yeah, right on, on the that. spot yeah and that's the that's the flex i like to use right now in yeah. coaching and probably even drop it down even a little bit more i like that whippiness there. all right so flex very important I, I don't know about handling the puck but getting your shot off right maybe control of what you're doing with the puck there's also something else that has to do with controlling the puck and that would be your blade pattern now there's a bunch of different blade patterns these days to your point this is not something that used to exist like it does now blade pattern important important for spinning the puck, controlling the puck, and getting power on your shot. Yeah, and I think it's a lot with us. I'm not sure we look at all this and puck spin and everything like this. It's a feel. It's how you, how you like it. Yeah. It's, you know, a little bit of an upshoot on the on the P92 there. It can, get, it can lift the puck a little bit easier. You can catch it in that curve. I mean, I, I actually like the P28 right yeah. now. That's what my son uses. That's what I use right now. What's your, what's your pattern there? I don't Do even, even know. know. This, is the, know? this is the true Brazil pattern right here. So, yeah, I mean, you could see the, the aspects of the curve, right? Like, and it's a multitude of... How do I say this? Variables and angles here. It's not just one definition of, of how it twists and hard to describe. You obviously need to see it here, but we'll show you one of the most popular curves that a lot of players talked about, the old Sackett curve. Why is the Sackick P92 curve the premier one? You know, I think it's just because a little bit of what everybody likes. A little bit of a, you know, an upshoot in there, a little bit of curve up. Again, I talk about they can catch it. Um, I used it for a long time. I mean, Joe Sackick, obviously a premier player. Sometimes it's just a matter of, of a guy that you grew up watching, and a lot of the young kids nowadays like it. And obviously a lot of go goals are being scored with it. Kirill the Thrill, Kirill. Sackick Curve. A lot of players in the NHL, Sackick Curve. Obviously it helps your, your shot on the forehand, your control on the forehand. How about the backhand? Does the curve matter there too? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Crosby likes to use more of a straight stick. He's right. come off that and he handles the puck, has a great backhand. And, you know, and even on these P92s, it, it has that little bit of, you know, curve. I love this curve and it's funny, you know, Sackick, it was his big curve and you even talked to him. He doesn't even use it with that kind of much as of an up. He has a little bit more straight. That's what he thought. But uh, obviously a legendary curve. For old time's sake here, I get, what, three shots? Again? Nope, nope, missed. Come on. No, a lot of goals have, left in that stick. Hey, 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 a lot gotta, of goals left in that stick. Uh, here uh, we go. Uh, uh, Where, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, no, right you, off that. Where am hit, I shooting it at? You hit the screen. You got to hit the camera. Yeah, that's all right. That's how I score. Well, that was twig talk. Hope you learned <laughs> a little something there about the hockey sticks your favorite player might be using.